so hi guys in today's video we are going to talk about what are the necessary requirements or the things that you should carry with yourself at the examination hall center so you will not be struggling with that and i will keep this video as short as possible so that it will not take your lot of time and you will utilize the remaining time for your studies so yeah without wasting any time let's begin before moving to the what are the necessary things to carry into the examination hall i would like to just tell about admit card some people are still like some students are still struggling to with the uh, downloading of a hall ticket so i will suggest you guys that try with the different pc if not uh, try with the different uh, browser if not go to the xerox center or any kind of printers like printing center from there you can like cafe or something and just download it from there that is like this should be work and still if it, it, it does not work just message me on instagram and i will just help you guys okay so yeah let's move with the uh, dress code and everything that, that you should carry for your examination uh, hall okay so the first one is about dress code dress code there is no any such compulsion but i will really recommend you that wear a cotton clothes which is very comfortable for you and don't wear any new clothes the clothes which are uh, like which you are wearing from very starting itself and it's very comfortable for you and you are very used to with it like agar like if you are wearing every any at any place it's very comfortable for you wear those clothes like daily uses clothes whatever you wear just wear, wear those clothes to the examination hall because what you need is the atmosphere around you uh, which you get at your home so like you won't feel that much of pressure and the comfort you get right so that was the first point let's move with the second the second point is like what to carry right so i will suggest carry four photograph two in your pockets two in your transparent pouch okay so here is a thing that there is uh, like if you have if you are carrying a uh, transparent pouch there is no any issue because at my time i also have carried a transparent pouch and they allowed me to take it inside so i won't think that it will be a problem so that's why i'm saying that keep two in your pockets two in your pouch so like if something like from where it is lost so you will have some in extra right you won't have to find like you you won't get into the trouble just to avoid the trouble we have to do this right so that's why just keep four photograph let's move with the next so the next is the uh, photo id or a proof uh, i would suggest that whatever you have uploaded for example if someone has uploaded a pan card i am giving an example most of you have uploaded a aadhar card i know that but for example if someone has uh, uploaded a pan card i will suggest you take your pan card aadhar card and a class 12 ka hall ticket or a mark sheet like if you have a mark sheet it's fine if you have a hall ticket something whatever uh, it might be of a class 12 just take it uh, hall ticket or a mark sheet and print it out and just take it okay uh, also for the um, photo id proof just take the two copies of it because ek like if one has been lost or one get lost then you will have some in extra right you don't have to uh, like uh, uh, get into the trouble and just to avoid troubles that's it i'm saying to take some extra copies so that's why uh, take the copy of your uh, photo ids okay so let's move with the uh, next okay so the iit hall ticket take two print outs okay take two print outs one you have to submit it there and one just keep with you there only and for future also you might be needing it that's why just take the two copies and in, if in case uh, something happens with the hall ticket at the examination hall so uh, to avoid such things you should have an extra thing right so that's an overall thing what i have to tell you and also i will say ki uh, the center if it is like too uh, far from you just go some like uh, early as possible because you just have to be comfortable with the surroundings right uh, because uh, sometimes what happen is uh, we get into the uh, like uh, with the burden or the pressure uh, we feel at the examination hall ka surrounding so that's why just to avoid those things i am saying that just uh, go early as possible also last but not the least i would say that just take a deep breath before starting of your exam because it will help you a lot keep meditating because it calms your brain and in exam you will do better performance so yeah this is a personal suggestion from my side hope uh, this video clears your lot of doubts and again there is no any compulsion with your dress code or something but try to avoid some uh, fashionable clothes and wear those clothes which you are wearing or which you uh, wear at your home right so that's it for this video i hope it won't be that much of long and utilize your this time at least for a revision don't go with the tip knowledge just revise yourself and keep yourself busy with the study don't uh, go on a social media or something like that just avoid those thing and yeah just keep your mind uh, calm and everything will be fine so that's it for this video hope you like this video and yeah bye